tag Zito versus Wordle and talk about how you can use them in your class. Um, they both start off the exact same way as far as you guys can uh, upload a, a direct link from a site and get the words that way. A news clip, you can search words um, and import them that way. Um, you can upload text uh, that you have saved on a Word document and what it ends up doing is it ends up making a picture of cloud based upon the text that was in uploaded. Uh, the more times that particular word pops up, the larger the text becomes. Um, Tagzito makes pictures. That's the cool thing about that one. Um, right here you have a picture from a macaw. Obviously that word was typed in more than the other ones. That's why it was larger. Um, here's Wordle. It doesn't make pictures. It makes like a cloud and, and you can put them. They both have their ups and their downs. Um, here's some features about Tagzito. Uh, one thing you guys can do with this is implement it in your class as far as literature or uh, history. Um, they have a deja vu uh, option which allows you to t put in two separate uh, but similar types of text and it will make the same words appear the same. Uh, it will give them the same kind of uh, font and color. Right here what they did is they uploaded four inaugural speeches, one from Jefferson, uh, Washington, one from Bush, and uh, Obama. And you guys can start to compare and contrast between the words that were larger uh, back then versus the words that are larger now. So you notice that American nation are both two larger words right here, whereas opposed to government was larger back there. You can talk about the different words that you see and that you don't see as it moves along and progresses in time. Uh, you can talk about the different things that are being faced uh, with our nation at that time. Um, then you can do things like this. When you guys create uh, Tag Zito, it becomes interactive. So if you're familiar with the uh, Hungarian toxic uh, fiasco in the Danube, uh, you can upload uh, a link from a web story, um, and it'll make the, the Tag Zito for you right here. And obviously these words were used the most. Um, when you click on the link, you can make it interactive. Now the kids can highlight this, and it actually makes all the smaller, harder words to read larger. And if you don't know what something means, or if you're not familiar, like let's say the Danube, I don't know where that's at, I can click on it, and it'll direct me to a link, and I can start figuring out where the Danube is. Um, Tagzito is a Google product. It is powered by Google, and it works really well with Google, so it's a lot easier to use. The harder part on this, though, is to actually print out and save it. You're going to have to use some sort of a screen capture to print that off and save it. Um, with Wordle, um, you get in different fonts, different colors, different types of layouts. Uh, you can upload students, um, if they're doing their writing, you can save it as a Word document and upload it. You can figure out how many times they're using certain words, like ands popping up. It's a really large word. You need to work on that. Or I need more descriptive words in there. Or, or, or if you have certain words that you want them to emphasize more often, see what, see what the different sizes of those different words are. Um, on these right here, I could hit open a new window and it'll pop it up and I can just slice over, hit print and it prints out a lot easier than, than Tag Zito does. So depending on what you're wanting to do with it, uh, if you're wanting to leave it in some sort of virtual technology like on a blog or a blog, uh, go with, go with uh, Tag Zito if you may want to make the picture. With Wordle for printing it out, here's one for spelling bees. Just a different way for the kids to look at and, and hopefully learn the words that they're supposed to know. Um, here's one for a sign that the, this teacher wants to put up in their room. They typed in all the names of the students in their class, and then all you need to do is just hit uh, open window and print. And it'll print it off, and you guys can hang it up. Um, I actually made one of uh, different types of algebra. I asked the kids to give me uh, 10 words for math, and they put in geometry and algebra, et cetera, et cetera. Hard and fun also popped up, and the students were surprised at how large fun was compared to uh, the word hard. They were pretty much the same, so kids thought math was fun. And they also thought it was hard. Um, I'm, I'm going to continue by doing this and taking it at the end of the school year and having them do the exact same thing and then figuring out where the, you know, the contrast was, what changed. Did fewer people say it was hard? Hopefully it, you have a little more people that say it's engaging and exciting. So uh, try it out, uh, either one, see what you think, and let me know if you guys do anything uh, cool. I'll post it with mine. Thank you.